Hey everyone, today we're going to be packing miniature school supplies and backpacks. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner is notified every time I upload a new video. So we have a total of two different backpacks today. We're going to be organizing and styling and we're going to be setting them up in lockers. So we have Covey's backpack, which is going to be a purple color. And then this backpack here is going to be for Lila. So let's go ahead and start off with Lila's backpack first. Let's go ahead and start off with the items that are going to be in Lila's backpack and locker. So we have two notebooks and two folders. So the folders are really great for storing away papers. I love this purple one. There's a star design and butterfly design on the front. This one says always be curious and the plaid design is really fun. We have this little notebook that says always be kind and then a daily planner so she's able to be organized with her notes and her assignments. We also have a science textbook as well. When you open it up, it has all the information inside, like a classic textbook. We also have a reading book as well, which is Rebecca on Sunnybrook Farm. There is two textbooks here, an art textbook and a physics textbook as well. Lila's water bottle is really cute. So it has an ombre finish. It's more of a pink color, but the bottom and top are teal. And then we also have the electronic device, which is a tablet. It's a really bright orange color, which is so much fun. In Lila's locker, she's going to have this basket container that's going to have different stationary supplies so she can grab it on the go. So we have this little blue highlighter. We also have another one of those highlighters as well, a yellow one, and then also some tapes that can go in there as well. Some really cute post-it notes. I love the star design of that one. Then we also have a heart one as well, which is in blue, green, and pink. A few different pens, so we have some blue ones and a teal one as well, and some more stationary items like a ruler, there's a USB, and then also some color pencils as well. So these are really great in case she doesn't have something in her pencil case, she can go ahead and grab it from her locker. We also have a few extra items too, there's a travel book and a shortbread cookie as well. But she is going to be keeping this pencil case in her backpack as well for the smaller stationary items. It's so bright and colorful and I love the theme of it. Here we have Lila's backpack. It is so cute. There's a star design on the front and the back. It's very bright and colorful. And what I love about it is that there's a little hand sanitizer container on the side as well. There's a section for a water bottle and there's a front pocket too. So for the top shelf, we're going to be adding in the stationary box that can go there. And then we also have the shortbread cookie, which can go right next to it. And as for the bottom shelf, we're going to be placing down some textbooks and then also the tablet as well. Let's take a look at the items that are going to go in Covey's locker and backpack. So first off, we have two notebooks. There's an assignment notebook and then there's also a classic notebook, which can also be a planner as well. The flower design is so pretty. Then we also have two folders. This one's a bright blue with the star design and this one says read more and it has a stack of books on the front. Here we have an overview of some of the books. So we have a science textbook here. And then if we open it up, you can see it's a classic textbook. We also have a reading book, which is the Nancy Drew Mystery Series, and two more textbooks. We have mathematics and history. We do have a few activity items. So there is a drawing book and a violin book, and then we're also going to be organizing some containers for some more art supply items. This box is going to be having some paintbrushes and different paints. So we're going to add that there. And then we also have another crafting box as well. The second crafting box, we're just going to be storing this apron, so we're going to fold it up so it fits into the box. So it just is going to be a general art shelf in Covey's locker. For Covey's electronic device, it's going to be a laptop. I love the gold color, it's so pretty. Then we also have a pencil box and a water bottle over in the back. The heart design is really fun, and we're also going to be adding in a fidget spinner to Covey's backpack. And here we have an overview for the backpack. It's so stylish and fun. I love the purple color. There's a front pocket and then there's a main pocket as well. It's a really cute purple and I think it definitely suits Covey's personality and style. This is going to be the art section of part of Covey's locker. So we have two of these containers. So we have the bottom one that's going to be for the apron, the top one that's going to be for the art supplies. And as the bottom shelf, we're going to be adding in a few different textbooks and a reading book too. And the final step is to place the backpacks in the locker. So here we have Lila's locker. We'll place the backpack in like so. And let's go ahead and place down Covey's backpack over here in the middle of her locker. And as you can see, both Covey and Lila's lockers and backpacks are all organized and styled. Let's go ahead and take a look at Lila's gym bag and gear set. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the items. It comes with quite a few different hair accessories. The gym bag looks really fun, so let's open it up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the gym bag first. So you can see it's so shiny. It's pink and orange. It says eat, sleep, gym, repeat. There's also a pocket on the front to place some smaller items. There's little side pockets for water bottles. And then we also have this main strap too. There's also a handle over here. There is some Velcro, which you can open up. So you can separate the straps and then you can open up the main pocket. 
and you can add some items inside of the bag like so. This is quite a large bag, so you definitely should be able to fit quite a few items. The set also comes with two hair scrunchies. So we have a pink hair scrunchie, and then we also have an orange hair scrunchie, and then there is a headband too. There's also a pair of glittery orange wrist warmers, which are made out of elastic. They're quite stretchy, and then there's also some tape as well, and there's a piece of Velcro in the middle. And to complete the gym bag set, we have a water bottle. I love the ombre finish and it's teal on the top. There's a protein bar that's peanut butter and a sheet of stickers too. And the final item part of the set is the hairbrush. It's a really cute pink purple color and it's the perfect addition to add to the gym bag. So here we have an overview of some of the accessories that part of the set. I love how it comes with different gymnastics items and the hair scrunchies are really cute too. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the main feature sets, a part of Lila's collection. It's Lila's gymnastics equipment. The box is actually quite small, so it's really great for storage. You can condense it down, but we have a photo on the front of the box showing an overview of some of the items. I love the chalk stand over on the side, has a beam and some bars too. So let's open it up. So here's how they organize the box. We have the gymnastics mat over on the top here, and then we have the different items held down by these tags, and you just have to build the actual bar. We also have the beam and then the smaller accessories over in the corner. So here we have the set of uneven bars. So you do have to build it, but it seems like it is pretty simple. There's only a few different items to attach together to make the uneven bars. So the actual base is quite heavy. It says American on the front. It's a pink color. And then these items here are made out of plastic. So we have the smaller bar on the front and the larger one at the back. And then we have these two attachments. All you need to do is push them in place so that they stay. And I've already attached the other side. So all we need to do is place this piece in the front and then the attachment on the back. And over in the back, I've just placed one of the grips. There's a total of two, so there's an entire set. So it's made out of elastic, so it's very stretchy. And then this part is plastic. There's a piece of Velcro, so you're able to open and close it, place the hand there, and then you can hook it on to the actual bar. Over by the side of the uneven bars, I've just placed the chalk holder. So there's a little attachment over here for the spray bottle, which we'll add in later on. It's a really cute pink color, and then it looks like chalks inside. It's just made out of plastic, this part, but it does look quite realistic. And then we have the two pieces of chalk. So they're made out of plastic too. There's a star design on the front, but they do look quite realistic. We're just going to add them into the chalk holder like so. And here we have the spray bottle. There's a little star design on the front. It's a really cute green color as well. And this spray bottle does actually move back and forth. It doesn't actually work or anything, but I think that's really cool. So we're just going to add that over to the side of the chalk holder like so. There are two different options to choose from with the gymnastics mat. So we have this site says gymnastics and it's blue, teal, and pink. And then if we flip it over to the other side, it's plain blue. I'm going to choose this side because it matches the teal and the pink that's a part of the collection. And to complete the set, we have the beam. It is very similar to the beam sets that American Girl has released over the years. It says American Girl on the side. And then we have these stoppers over on the bottom. So they're little grips, so it stays in place. It's very low to the ground and it's the perfect addition to the gymnastics set. Overall, it was so great to take a look at some of Lila's items. Lila is a really fun girl of the year, and I love how there's two different storylines. There's the storyline theme to gymnastics, and there's the storyline theme to horse riding. So if you're looking to purchase an entire girl of the year collection this year, you could definitely look at purchasing one of the storylines, maybe just the items theme to gymnastics, or maybe just the items theme to horse riding. Be sure to comment down below your thoughts and opinions on Lila and her collection. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it.